my craft relates directly to the crafts uh, that kids make. And so there is a kind of uh, lumpy, ham-handed, expressionistic uh, quality to a lot of the work, maybe clumsy even. But uh, that's not unlike Play-Doh or finger painting or mud pie, that kind of creation. So it's not academic and it's not refined and it's open to everyone. Uh, yeah, so it's a, it's a more democratic populist way of making objects. So it's a specific choice that way. I like something that is transcendently poetic uh, that I think you can actually get even though you don't understand. My printmaking techniques oftentimes are, are like very crude and uh, fundamental printmaking techniques. I think the clumsy handling is for sure a specific choice and I think it speaks to um, an affect of humility and commonness and every man and availability to everyone. It's democratic and doesn't rely on uh, virtuosity for expressing the message. In fact, the message is anti-virtuosic. I have been asked the question for many, many years, for example, why do I use an elephant, or why do I use animals, or why do I use floral motifs? I never had a particular reason that motivated me to use them. And my rationale was the flower, for example, is a ubiquitous, time-honored motif it used in every culture. And I think we all know what it's meant to express. One is the beauty of nature, one is the passing of time and the brevity of life and beauty. One is the passing of youth, certainly, and one is about sex. Those are a few possibilities out of many. The uh, animals, I could never come up with a, a real good answer for. But the other day I, I had, I think, an epiphany about that, and I think it has to do with early childhood impressions. Childhood toys and books are filled with animals. Peace on Earth, I saw um, in the city's collection five months ago, six months ago, and I didn't really look at it. But now I've seen it in the gallery and I've been very moved by that piece. It's got all that familial uh, information, something about my mom and dad, my brothers and my sisters, my birth date. Anyway, it's, it was very moving to me. And that's one of those pieces that held that, uh, a real sense of mortality to it for me. Counterpain is another example where you can really see me struggling to, to formulate something, to get the form. And I'm sort of shocked at how uh, the uptightness or the rigidity of the surface and how it, you know, it, it sort of strains to, to be what it is. I like to see it all together in, an, in the beautiful rooms of that section of the Henry. And uh, pride is not the first feeling at all. In fact, a, like a little bit of embarrassment and a, a lot of vulnerability and a, a sentimental wistfulness about I'm 30 years older than I was when I made this thing. And then a kind of pride that comes in. I like this thing and it's uh, interesting. It's a very mixed feeling and the fantasy of it I'd say is uh, in a way a lot easier than the reality of it. The reality comes with, with those feelings of embarrassment, vulnerability and a, 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 a mournfulness that comes with aging. I had a teacher in college who, Mr. Cardwell, who was the driest, driest, most in cerebral um, kind of artist, and he did these paintings that were pure process abstractions, geometric abstractions, and never got them at the time, especially when I was 18. But he, um, one time he said to me, he said, oh, art is about life and death. And I was just like, that blew my mind. How could something that um, isn't necessary, I mean, as we all know, for life, 
uh, be about life and death. And he said it in, the, in this way that made me believe that he believed that. And so, you know, now as I like cry with you about this stuff, I, I really kind of get what he means. I mean, I think this stuff is about life and death. It's certainly been about my life and my survival. Yeah. So it's, uh, it's a big deal. It's incredible validation of one's life, you know, and one's work. My name's Jeffrey Mitchell, and I'm an artist. I make drawings and sculptures.